Ms. Jason. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Thank you, Chairman. Uh, the, uh, the, the title of this hearing uh, should be, uh, you know, inaction is no longer an option. And so w one of the questions that, that, you know, you had said was you're tired of nothing happening in this town. That's because we've had inaction as we've gone from zero to 108,000 deaths a year with fentanyl. Uh, in, Cal in San Diego, we have a locker that has 147,000 pounds of deadly drug. A third of it is fentanyl. Ten years ago, zero was fentanyl, and it was mostly marijuana and meth. So when we look at, at what we need to do, and I'll just be brief and, and say, what, what would you have us do on a bipartisan basis that would be the most effective single item? And uh, we'll start on the left. So, Congressman, thanks for the question. First of all, we have to declare this a public health and national security emergency from the White House, because it all starts at the top. Then we have to get celebrities and professional athletes, role models, to start making video reels to get to the kids on social media. Because right now on social media, that's what they're doing all day. And that's why they're dying, because they're buying this stuff on social media. And by the way, sextortion is also very big on social media. So why are the social media companies allowed to facilitate the death and destruction of our communities? Okay, so and I appreciate that because that, that, that is one of the areas that information simply has, it certainly is not equal to the 108,000 uh, deaths. Uh, from a standpoint of, uh, and I'll, I'll ask this, uh, I'll start at the far right here now. Uh, when someone knowingly produces a pill that looks like one kind of drug, but is in fact fentanyl. In California, they've had the novel attempt to, to in fact have, when someone dies of it, have it be considered murder because it's a knowing act. Would you support a federal law that made it, in fact, by definition, murder to produce a deadly fentanyl pill that, uh, uh, that appears to be something else? Congressman, yes, absolutely. If I took a, a drink and I got something poisoned in the drink and died, that would be murder, correct? Correct. So uh, those are two areas. The, the third one, of course, is we have two partners in, in this. We're, we're the third partner because we're the buyer, and certainly we have to do our part, and this is where information and, and you know, getting beyond just Ignoring it is important, but let me just ask the two questions. Mexico is currently enjoying a, uh, a, a gang success of billions of dollars that is corroding the very ability of their government to manage their, their, their country because the cartels have more money than the government. And that's coming out of China, where the precursors come out. So the, the question I have for all of you is, as we're advertising, as we're increasing the crimes, what action should we take to stem the flow from China through Mexico? Yes. Again, so the, the, you, when you look at the spigot of illicit fentanyl, that's a huge issue, and I'm not here to really focus on that. I'm focusing on fentanyl-related substances, and one thing Congress can do tomorrow is permanently close that loophole. Yes, sir. Congressman, I said, um, you know, we've been doing the same thing over and over again for 50 years since President Nixon declared war on drugs and expecting a different result each time and doing it even harder and causing even more people to be in prison and damaging relations with even more countries, still not going to work. I guarantee you because we're going to probably be here in a couple of years talking about the nitazine crisis. I think we should put the emphasis and focus on making uh, it's safer for the people who are going to continue to go to the black market and use drugs by, by getting the government out of the way of groups that want to, to employ harm reduction strategies that save lives. I appreciate the, your view on that. I, I respectfully disagree. I, the countries that have tried it mostly uh, have had other problems. Uh, but I do agree with one thing, which is that uh, we have been fighting the, the fight for a long time. We've seen the drugs change. Uh, Ma'am, I'm, I'm going to close by, uh, by saying uh, I meet regularly with, with one after another parent or sibling or spouse of someone who has died from the, uh, and whether they call it an overdose or a deadly poison, uh, most of the time it's an amount 
that is deadly in a single pill. Uh, that is not true of other drugs. It is true of fentanyl today. And so you, uh, you have my deepest sympathies for your loss. And we will, I, I promise, we will have action, not inaction. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. Yield back. Thank you, Mr. Issa.